tonight I'm out in a high desert in Southern California. Um, this place is packed with scorpion diversity. Hopefully I can find the vast majority of them. There'll probably be one or two that I miss, but oh well. Uh, yeah, we'll see what we find. Look at this. A Cahuilla ebony tarantula, or Cahuilla dwarf tarantula. Um, a Phonopelma huahua. That means little spider in the native language. This is a mature male looking for a mate, and they don't get any bigger than this. Very small spider. Look at this tiny scorpion I just blacklighted. Absolutely minuscule. It's like a half grown Serdigitus gurchi gurchi, the uh, southern soft venus scorpion. I'm not sure what it's doing out on the trail. Usually you see them in rocks. Paravejoes wearing you here, about as high as they go in altitude. Yet the uh, habitat is definitely still very suitable for the species, quite optimal. And this is an adult, uh, female. Let go. Hanging out in this little bush right here. There's a mantis, praying mantis. Not entirely sure on the species, but I know that this is a uh, stagmomantis. Uh, perhaps stagmomantis californicus, which is the um, California mantis, or stagmomantis limbata, which I'm not entirely sure if it has a common name or not. That kind of hurts. Being spined. Look at those wings. Very pretty. Putting up a threat display. Uh oh. There you have it. The threat display I was talking about. They uh, put their arms out and spread their wings and then puff up their abdomen. I'm having a little too much fun, more fun than I should be having with this little mantis here. Ah. All right, I'll leave it be now. Oh, not my sleeve, come on. Go back. There you go. There's an immature Stonchius species right here. Um, the ones in this area are actually undescribed. They have no scientific name or common name. This one uh, I'll try to find a, an adult of. A little Jerusalem cricket. Watch me get bitten. Or perhaps not. This one seems kind of nice. Uh, it's quite tough to find these ammo pelmetus at uh, high elevation, let alone in the desert. Quite nice to have found this one. A welcome sight for sure. Let's see if we can see its uh, mandibles. There you go. Pretty serious stuff. It hurts. They draw blood. I'm going up my sleeve again. Oh no! Oh no! I gotta get that out. Little guy decided to uh, walk all the way up my sleeve and ended up in my um, collar, actually. It's crawling up my neck. I'll let him be now. Here's a little Superstitiona donensis, the Superstition Mountain Scorpion. Um, they love it in this type of habitat, in the high desert. Uh, and this happens to be my favorite scorpion in all of the United States. This one is probably an adult, could be a subadult. They don't get very large, as you can tell. And they have quite an attitude, too. Ah, I dropped it. It's right there. Interesting fact about these is uh, they're actually the only species in their entire family. So they're uh, monotypic, so the only species in their genus. But they go a step further, being the only one in their family. Our next species is scorpion here. This one is uh, actually quite cool. This is Cochis pursuticata. Um, there's something special about this scorpion that I'll show you in a minute. Quite a strange looking scorpion for sure, but there's one feature in particular that stands out. So I'll show you that under a little lens. Just trying to get away. And that's an adult. Cochis hirsutacata. The last name means Harry Telson. Um, so I'll show you that. There you have it. There's the Telson of Close. It lives up to its 
last name. Very long hairs that are quite uh, densely clustered. Another species of tarantula here. This is a California ebony tarantula, but a special one. The, uh, the morph, if you will, that lives more near the desert. Um, usually the ones you see in like the LA basin in San Diego will be darker. Uh, they'll have some striping on the legs and they'll have a triangle on the cephalothorax. But this one is light and looks essentially like an Iodius. It's like the desert morph of Eudelenum. Here's our next scorpion. This scorpion is absolutely minuscule. Um, its genus, which is Catalinia, uh, is sort of tied with Wernerius, another genus in California, for the spot um, for uh, the small scorpion in, in uh, California. This is how large it is. That's an adult. Very, very small. And supposedly this is Catalinia andreas, but uh, it very well could be something else. One strange thing about this genus is that there's a huge size discrepancy within the genus between species. There's a couple species that are this small and super tiny, and then the other ones are all two to three times this size. It's very strange. I apologize for my shaky hand, but since this scorpion is so damn small, I thought I'd show you under this lens to get a better idea of what it looks like. I believe this to be a red spotted toad which is either Anaxyrus or Bufo, I forget. And it's sort of just hopping around here. Try to be gentle because they have water reserves and if they lose them, it could be disastrous. Not very red. Although I have seen a couple here that have nice spots. There's another little superstition mountain scorpion right here. I thought I might as well take the opportunity to uh, take the lens back out and show you up close what it looks like since this is also, quite a small species. Here you are, the superstition mountain scorpion up close. If you notice its stocky build, you know, thick tail and uh, thick hands and stocky legs, that's because it's a uh, burrowing species. Two little Ceratogiscurci sitting on this one rock. There's actually a rock above them before, but I had to lift it to see them because this rock is uh, quite crumbly and they tend to slip in cracks. That's what they're known for. This is pretty cool. Last time I was here, I didn't see the scorpion. This is Periochnus becki, Beck's desert scorpion. Um, a medium-sized scorpion. And this is the only scorpion in its genus that lives in this area. Um, and that's an adult, adult female. Another little Superstitiona denensis hanging out right here. There's a super small sulfugid in here, or camel spider. It was running around out here, and it's, yeah, it's extremely quick. Not sure on the uh, species, but I think it's uh, an Aramabates. Well, it's gone now. It was a mature male, very fast. Another adult female, Periochnus becki, out on the hunt. Yeah, don't sting me. Here's another one of these, Cochis hirsutacata. I also forgot to mention, um, the species is sort of part of a complex, which means that throughout its range, they vary quite a bit, or are part of, you know, uh, many cryptic species grouped in one. And this is one of the larger ones. There's also like smaller little Cochis hirsutacata that are like mm, half this size. Well, I couldn't really find any uh, adult Stonchius, so, Here's an immature specimen. I really wanted to find an adult just because they have some weird coloration that's worth pointing out where the uh, carapace and the um, turgites, which is like the body, is super light in color and the tail and the hands are quite dark. I wasn't able to find one of the more common species here and one of the larger species. Um, so I'm going to switch locations and move to the flats. Somehow I know I'll find you there. Two Superstitiona denensis mating. This is something I've n I never thought I'd ever see. Very cool. And of course, they're very tiny, but adults. Here you have an adult 
in your Octonist Baha'i, though it may not be uh, pure Baha'i, sort of like an integrate. Uh, but yeah, very uh, aggressive or defensive species um, as long as they're out of their holes because they're a burrowing species. That's why they're so stocky. Mature male um, Aphonopalma udalanum, the California ebony tarantula. This one looks like it's quite depleted running on its last uh, meal or whatever because its abdomen is quite small. Of course, it's looking for a mate and will die soon after. This is a Anzabrego hairy scorpion. Um, it looks very similar to like a normal hairy scorpion, Hydrus arizonensis, but it has a triangle in the interocular area between the two side eyes instead of a hemicircle or a semicircle. Oops. Oh, here it is. This is the largest scorpion that lives up here. And along with the uh, Hydrus patex, the black hairy scorpion, these are the largest high elevation scorpions in California. Well, that will be all for this video, so thank you for watching.